He is the best of the best, not just of this generation, of any generation. He is up there with the greatest Muay Thai fighters of all time. Six-time Lumpinay Stadium champion, with 317 recorded wins, Sian Chai is undoubtedly the king of Muay Thai. Yeah, I'm sure he still shows up to the gym every single day. <laughs> Yet there are those who choose to disrespect this legend. They mock and they belittle. But in front of Sian Chai's supremacy, their mockery rings hollow. So who are these cocky fighters that dare to challenge the king of Muay Thai? How did Sanchai respond and what makes him so good at what he does? Let's find out. But first things first, what makes, what makes Sanchai so good? Sanchai's dedication is legendary. He has been putting in the work from the young age of seven. His years of experience and hard work transformed him into a fighter with virtually no weak spot. He even has a few signature moves like the beautiful cartwheel kick. But he's not only about his skills. What makes him so revered in the world of Muay Thai is that this practitioner is connected with the spiritual aspect of the sport. This makes Sian Chai the real deal. Plus, he is a true entertainer. He doesn't only fight with extreme grace and masterful skill, but he also puts up a show for all the fans. That is why Sian Chai stands tall as one of the, if not the best, Muay Thai fighter in the world. But there are a few fighters who got so consumed by the idea of their own greatness that they made the fatal mistake of looking down on Sein Chai. The king of Muay Thai cannot let such arrogance slide without any consequences. Thus began Sein Chai's masterclass in destroying cocky fighters. So the big question is who in their right mind would disrespect such a living legend? Enter the first cocky fighter on our list, Gabriel Dos Santos. Despite being a combat sport, Muay Thai is very respectful. Trash talking and throwing insults are not common. But Gabriel Dos Santos wanted to spice things up. In a pre-fight press conference, he literally shoved Senchai. But Senchai did not say or react in any way back then. His answers were all saved up for the fight ring. In the fight, Gabriel was aggressive from the beginning. But with cat-like agility, Senchai evaded his first round of punches with ease. The seasoned warrior finally hits back with a beautiful high kick, but Gabriel managed to evade the full impact by retreating at the right time. Sian Chai charged on again with a kick, but this time got his legs stuck in the ropes. Now, in Muay Thai, if a fighter gets stuck in the ropes, then the opponent waits instead of charging in. But Gabriel did the exact opposite. When Sian Chai was stuck, Gabriel charged in and tried to hit his opponent. This made the king of Muay Thai furious. The glare that Sen Chai gave after this incident sent shivers down my spine. The question is, should Gabriel have waited for Sen Chai to get out of the ropes as per the custom of the fight, or is he right in utilizing every opportunity in a fight against such a powerful opponent? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. But regardless, Sen Chai was furious. With a flicker of his hand, he signaled to the opponent to Bring it on. This time, Sian Chai went on the offensive, throwing repeated punches and kicks. Finally, with kick after kick, Sian Chai cornered Gabriel and then knocked him out of the canvas with a mighty <laughs> Gabriel looked totally out of it. And the King of Muay Thai reminded everyone that he was not the one to mess with. But Gabriel got up and the fight went on, giving Sian Chai more time to humble his opponent. Like a beast, he lunged forward with a kick that saw Gabriel Dos Santos stumble backward. At this point, San Chai was just playing. He did everything to humiliate Gabriel, pulled on his own shorts, tapped Gabriel's head with his jabbing hand and beat the ropes violently. After demonstrating all of the antics, San Chai went into a full berserk mode, hitting Gabriel left and right. The arrogant fighter looked absolutely helpless. Just before round one ended, San Chai dropped Gabriel to the ground twice. The first one came from his signature cross-the-knee move. As soon as Gabriel got up, 
Senchai again pushed him to the floor within moments, demonstrating that the arrogant fighter stood no chance against Senchai whatsoever, and things would get even worse for Gabriel in the second round. With repeated kicks and punches, Senchai dropped his opponent on the ground three times, thereby ending the fight. After all the arrogance inside and outside of the ring, the fight was as one-sided as possible. Senchai completely destroyed the cocky fighter. <laughs> But Sanchai's lesson in humility does not end with Gabriel dos Santos. The next fighter on our list, who received a much needed lesson from Sanchai, is the Scottish Muay Thai fighter, Craig Dixon. At the start of the fight, Craig Dixon looked very confident. Sanchai starts most of the fights with a hip motion named the Shuffle Shuffle Boom Boom. But Craig decided it would be a good idea to mock Sanchai's opening and imitate the hip movement. This visibly offended Sanchai. He knew that he would have to teach this young Padawan a lesson. So Sanchai started the round with a face kick. Craig manages to partially evade it. But soon, Sanchai floors his opponent with another mighty kick to the chest. But apparently, Craig Dixon had not learned his lesson yet because when Senchai did the shuffle again, Craig once again made the silly mistake of copying it. Enraged, Senchai had enough of this. To bring the arrogant fighter back to his senses, Senchai punished him with some solid kicks and punches. <laughs> This seemed to work as Craig no longer mocked Saiyan Chai when he performed his boom boom the next time. Saiyan Chai has made his point. It was now time to end the fight. He startled Craig with a beautiful rear teep. After that, he made a bluff with his legs and hit Craig's face with the elbow. He then followed up with a kick to the liver and another elbow punch to the face. Craig was done for, but kudos to him for still getting up. But Saiyan Chai again dropped him with a punch to the face. The ref steps in and Saiyan Chai becomes successful in humbling another cocky fighter. If that was not enough to show that no one can mess with Saiyan Chai, we have two more arrogant fighters on our list. Enter Gilas Barash. Gilas was doing well against Saiyan Chai at the beginning, which made him extremely overconfident. In fact, just like Craig Dixon, he made the silly mistake of mocking Sanchai's signature shuffle. This was a clear provocation that cannot go unpunished. Sanchai started hitting Gilas with brutal force and lightning fast speed. Finally, Sanchai's head kicked Gilas with all his might, which resulted in an instant knockout. The last cocky fighter on our list who learned the errors of his actions the hard way is Javad Bigdeli. This Iranian fighter started the fight with a kick to Saiyan Chai's balls. This illegal move triggered Saiyan Chai, who started throwing impressive punches and kicks. But in his arrogance, Javad taunted Saiyan Chai. He even had the audacity to ask for more. Saiyan Chai, being the gentleman that he is, obliged and served him with fresh knees to his body. Finally, in the second round, Javad could not take the hits any longer and fell to the floor. Saiyan Chai wins by knockout. The king destroyed and humbled all those who arrogantly looked down on him and reminded the world of what made him the king in the first place. But he also understands the essence of Muay Thai. He knows that there is no place for bitterness in the noble sport. So, in every single fight, after defeating the cocky fighters, he checks up on his opponents and gives them a kiss. A true Nakmuay, a true champion who knows how to respect and earn the respect of authors, just as Sien Chai is one of the greatest Muay Thai practitioners of all time, in the world of female MMA, two names come over and over again, Chris Cyborg and Amanda Nunes. Click on this video to witness the epic story of what went down when these two giants clashed and how the winner silenced the arrogant fighter once and for all. See you there.